Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcoming you to the extras video for Let's Play Minecraft PS4. For now, this will be the last video, and for this video, we're going to build a fully powered beacon. Now, I'm there is absolutely no way I would have had enough material. Okay, first off, to build a beacon, you need the nether star that we got from killing the wither. And I want to see what it says about it. Uh, just drop by the wither used in crafting beacons. It's not used for anything else that I know of. So you need that, five pieces of glass, and three obsidian, all of which we fortunately had. We had barely enough obsidian. I almost had to go mine some more. But you can get plenty of it out of the end very easily. So we now have our beacon. Now to power a beacon, it must be on top of solid blocks of gold, iron, emerald, or diamond. I don't know if redstone or lapis works. I've never tried it with those. So I'm just looking for the best place to build it. We have, we have enough room here. I think this will work. So we're building a fully powered one. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the, the annoying thing is it takes literally 164 blocks. Not even like other stuff, but an actual 164 actual blocks of the resources to build a fully powered beacon. Now you only need nine blocks to build a basic beacon, which is good. And that skeleton is really getting annoying. So yeah, you only need uh, some, you don't need that many of them to get the regular beacon, but you will need 164 blocks of material, each of which, which requires nine resources. And actually I wanna do the math for that real quick while I'm mining this tree. So you need 164 total blocks, which obviously we did not have anywhere close to. Uh, let's just, yeah, there we go. Well, I was gonna do it, but then my, what is wrong with my stupid phone? Okay, let's try that. Nine times 164, you math, 1476 total blocks. There you go. That is a lot of material, and naturally, there is no way you're gonna have that much material available for you in a world unless you've really heavily been playing it since like day one. Cause that is just, that is a ridiculous amount of material that they expect you to have for that. But hey, you know, the reward for it is pretty cool, but like I said, it's really not ne necessarily, I would say it's not really worth it because it's just so many materials you need just to have a really cool looking beacon especially when you can just do it in creative mode for free. But yeah, this is gonna be it, guys. This is the last uh, part of the Let's Play, at least for now. Now, like I said, there's always a possibility I could come back and do more for the game because we could always look back at the Ocean Temple some more, look for other temples, uh, look for more stuff in the Nether, try to get like gas tiers and stuff, because I never got a gas tier because those are pretty uncommon. You have to kill a gas to get them, but I didn't really fight too much in gas, so yeah. Uh, anyway, almost there. So yeah, this was all with my uh, duplicated materials. And I'm going to throw the rest of my duplicated materials into the uh, fire pit. So let's do it, guys. And I've already got the trophy. That's why the trophy won't pop. I got it in the tutorial world. Give it a second. There it is, guys. A fully powered beacon. So now we have a real beacon instead of just that boring old dirt tower. I think the beacons will give you like some kind of special ability, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I thought they were supposed to. Maybe they don't. Uh, let's get some more wood out of that. So this is it, guys. We have the beacon. I just want to see it at shine at night. So like I said, but at least for now, that's going to be it. I don't... That would happen. I can't believe I just did that. I threw my diamond pickaxe in the lava. <sighs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I guess that's my punishment for using duplication to get extra materials like this. But really, I honestly about didn't need the duplication for the actual fights because I only needed one golden apple for the first fight for against the ender dragon and I would have had about enough gold for a second one, so I really didn't need it that much for it. It would have taken a little while longer without it, but that's unfortunate that I threw away my diamond pickaxe, and I only have, I think, two diamonds left, so I don't have quite enough material to make another one yet. I could always probably just find more someday. Yeah, I don't 
I now don't have enough. That's embarrassing. But yeah, so that's going to be it for now, guys. There's really nothing else to do in this Let's Play. I guess I will save over that. I don't really care because I don't know if I'm even going to be coming back to this world anymore. But that's really it, guys. I just want to show you guys this beacon at night, so I'll probably cut to that at the end of the video. But like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I really enjoyed this Let's Play a lot. I had a lot of fun recording this. Had a lot of great success in it. Killed the Ender Dragon. Killed the Wither. And like I said, if there are ever any more boss mobs that are created... Excuse me, burping there. If there are any more boss mobs that are created, there's a very good chance I could come back to this game someday or try to explore more stuff or something. I don't know. I guess we'll find out someday in the future, but for now, this will be it. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play and enjoyed this video and the last couple videos. And after we see the beacon at night, that'll be it. So guys, of course it would be raining on the night that I want to show off the beacon, but it's finally nighttime after like a 10 minute wait. So, are you guys ready for the reveal? I'm up on top of a jungle tree and wow, that could be dangerous if I fell through that. I am going, actually I don't care anymore. There it is guys, all the way up at high into the sky, you can see our base from over here. Probably the safest place in this world since we never found a village. Now, what I might actually do is go into creative mode, like get a uh, copy the seed into creative mode so that I can play on creative mode without disabling trophies or anything, even though I've already got all the trophies now, and do that and just like see if I could ever find a village in this world, and then maybe we could go to that someday. But for now, this is the last video. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play and the awesomeness of our over fully powered beacon, which apparently gives uh, status effects to players, even though I didn't see any. So... I will see you guys for more of Uncharted 4 and Homefront The Revolution.